Hello everyone, today is Monday, March 9th, 2020. I want to give you all the heads up. I tweeted earlier today I was going to do a special edition of Andy Addresses Audience. I have decided because this is more of an issue I wanted to talk about first before you know, everything else going on. And this is regarding the world of jailbreaking, by the way. Andy Addresses Audience will be available tomorrow. So I'm currently exporting that. I got to upload it and then you should all see it tomorrow. So if you are interested and you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell when you'll be notified on when I upload a video. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about the current status of iOS jailbreaking. So currently right now, I want to give you all the heads up that iOS 13.4 is still in beta. We should be getting the public firmware hopefully by the end of the month or maybe even sooner, depending if Apple does push out the update. Now, once again, I want to quickly give heads up. If you guys are using the check rain tool, if you are playing the jailbreak with the check rain tool, you should be impacted through the A7 through 11 devices. So if you are using that and when iOS 13.4 comes out, thankfully, you can just put your device in the DFU mode. Shouldn't be an issue when iOS 13.4 comes out. And the beta is, of course, jailbroken as well. But for those using Uncover, I have an important update regarding that. So Panda Own yesterday afternoon tweeted out that version 4.3.0 did come out. Now, I will admit it is the most stable version of Uncover up to date currently right now on the uncover website and i will quickly show you this because i was supposed to use the jailbreak.me website version 4.3.1 is out however for my personal use i'm not going to be updating to 4.3.1 because the good news is for my hdmi connector it is in fact 100 percent working again so thanks to Ponda Own, I alerted him about the bug. He definitely fixed that with 4.3.0. So I'm honestly not going to update to 4.3.1 as a precaution. But 4.3.0 is, in fact, the most stable version. So if you are looking for previous versions, you can go here. And it should be right here, unless I'm wrong. Ah, okay, but it's supposed to be 4.3.0, but I don't know how that happened. But at the moment, the Uncover website says 4.3.1. So... There has been an issue where the website, jailbreak.me, I gave you guys that website a while back where the certificate is not signing. So if you hit the download button and you're trying to install, it's a very complicated process. So what I'm going to do right now is in the card right now, this video I'm going to show you for just a second here. This is a video that our following colleague, Saunders Tech, posted back on march 1st which was last sunday so you should be seeing this video in the card right now so if you are looking for it highly recommend if you are trying to jailbreak without a computer now there is a method you can do you can sign your own profile with a computer so i will of course also card that video right now if you are looking to use your own profile and also if you are going to be jailbreaking I want to give you all the heads up. The only versions Uncover uses right now, and I'll quickly show the app to wrap up this video. The only versions right now that Uncover does support are from iOS 13.0 to 13.3. If you are on iOS 13.3.1 and you have an A7 through A11 device, the good news is you can jailbreak right now with check grain. However, if you have an iPhone 10s all the way up to the iphone 11 pro if you are on 13.3.1 the sad reality is you cannot jailbreak so if you are looking to jailbreak you're out of luck because apple did patch the kernel exploit that uncover was able to use for the newer devices but thankfully for me since i do have an iphone 8 I am not impacted because, once again, my device 100% can be jailbroken anytime with or without the boot ROM exploit. Hopefully, in the future, Ponda Own will work on a future update. I'm praying that he does, but for now, that's just the current status of iOS jailbreaking. So, thankfully, with my connector working again, I'm hopefully going to see if I can look into doing a jailbreak tweak video. There are a couple of tweaks I want to show you guys, so I will... 
hopefully maybe work on that later this week or next week, depending on how my schedule works. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There'll be, once again, Andy addresses audience tomorrow. I won't get into what I talked about, but you'll see the video tomorrow, no matter what happens. So thank you all for watching. I do have to edit this video once Andy addresses audience is done exporting. Till the next one, please take care.